I've discovered something recently that I think a lot of people don't know that they need to know. Um, and, and that has to do with the laws relating to the LGBTQ community. Uh, they vary state by state. Uh, Alabama has some pretty awful laws. Um, they call them negative laws. And, and until you've felt the impact of this, I don't think you can really understand why it's so important. Um, and the reason that that it came to my mind to talk about it is because I was at the oral surgeon's office a couple weeks ago with my son. And uh, we went in there and the doctor started joking and he was he was making sexist jokes about how, how could there possibly be a woman Jedi. He um, saw a book that I was reading about uh, race relations and he took the title White Fragility to mean that black people were overly sensitive. Um, and the more he talked, the more I became concerned that he might be someone who would be homophobic. Um, and as my son is in there under anesthesia, coming out of it, waking up, I find myself hoping that he doesn't say something to out himself to this doctor, because at this point, I don't trust him anymore. Um, and what a lot of people don't know that is in Alabama, you can refuse medical care to an LGBT community member based on your religious objections. Um, so I think until you felt the fear of that as, as a patient, I don't think my son was aware of it that day, um, that I was worried about it. But as a mother, the fact that a medical professional can deny service to my child based on who he is, it is a horrifying proposition. So I, I wanted to show you some information that I found recently so that you can really understand the gravity of the situation in, in the areas of the country that are more restrictive than others, Alabama being one of them. Um, and I have this uh, found these maps, equality maps, that lay out the situation across the country and I, I think they'd be helpful for you to see. This is an equality map I found online. It is under the um, lgbtmap.org website. Um, it gives you an overview of the country in terms of uh, overall policy for LGBTQ related laws. Um, and then it breaks it down by sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, as you can see, Alabama is brown, which indicates a negative overall policy tally. If we scroll down, we can see um, that 4%, 46% of the LGBT population lives in states with high tallies, which is great, those are the good ones. 10% um, live in medium overall policy tallies, but 38% live in low and 6% in negative. Okay, so Alabama is a negative tally. Um, let's see what that means. What that means is they have a, a score of negative 2.5, which is bad. Um, it talks about protections for same-sex couples for the LGBTQ community. This is an overall map, um, so it doesn't break it out by gender identity or sexual orientation. Um, there are no laws, uh, state laws, covering family leave for same-sex couples. There are no adoption non-discrimination laws, no foster care non-discrimination laws. Um, you go down to specifically non-discrimination, no employment non-discrimination, housing, credit, um, non-discrimination for state employees. They have a negative law that states, um, the state bans cities and counties from passing non-discrimination laws. So states, they're not even allowed to pass it, which is shocking. Um, religious exemption, lots of negative laws. Um, targeted exemption for medical professionals, for child welfare, I'm sorry. Um, for statutory religious exemption law, it's a constitutional or statutory law, so that they're well embedded in our laws. In terms of youth, um, no policy covering students, no anti-bullying for LGBT students. Um, they have a negative law that's the don't say gay law that bars or explicitly restricts educators from discussing LGBT people or issues in schools. Um, that's something that we have personal experience with. Um, there's no law banning conversion therapy, which has been debunked by most medical professionals everywhere. Um, health care, private health insurance, no non-discrimination laws. Um, that, that is problematic. Uh, there's a negative law that the state criminalizes exposure to and transmission of HIV. Uh, it goes on and on. But the, the thing that's important about this is to know what your state and our state in Alabama dictates for the LGBT community that makes it more difficult for them to live and thrive here. Um, 
this other website, beyondido.org. Uh, you can search this by state as well over here. Alabama has laws that are specifically harmful to LGBT people and in summary state that they can be fired or denied a promotion. They can be evicted from their homes or denied housing. They can be denied service at public establishments, denied medical treatment, or even kicked out of restaurants or businesses. Now, you can imagine the fear that this population lives with and, and the fear that I live with as a parent of someone in that community. Um, it, it's tragic, it's horrible, and, and if we as, as the straight community do not get on board the fight to allow LGBT people to thrive and, and live in happiness and joy, then we are as big a part of the problem as the state of Alabama. So take a look at these sites, take a look at your state. Um, if you have ever experienced discrimination based on any of these laws, um, I would love to hear your story. Please email me at elizabeth at elizabethdenham.com. Thanks.